Once the volcano stopped erupting and the lava drained away, it left behind a vast network of empty passages, some big enough to drive a bus through. Cave explorers have mapped over six miles of massive tunnels beneath this single lava flow. But humans weren't the first creatures to discover this hidden world. As dusk creeps up the flanks of Mount Suzwa, a troop of baboons is gathering for the night. Most baboons roost in the treetops to avoid night prowling leopards or lions. But these baboons are heading downwards. Their destination is an underground chamber known locally as the Baboon's Parliament. As they enter the underworld, the baboons cross with bats on their way out. Filming them here requires an infrared camera and lights invisible to the baboons. The walls of the baboon parliament have been worn glassy smooth by the hands and feet of generations of baboons. Rock climbing in the dark on polished holes could be considered a hazardous sport, but presumably these baboons find it less scary than sleeping outside with the leopards. The baboon's final destination is a series of small ledges high up on the cave wall. Safe beyond the reach of predators and protected by a roof of solid rock, the cave dormitory stays warm and dry, even at the height of the rainy season. As the last light fades from the sky, the bat exodus intensifies. This is the world's largest colony of giant mastiff bats. It's made up entirely of females who have just given birth. Their pups, thousands of them, can't fly yet and are completely dependent on their mothers. but the mother bats must leave their cave to feed. Packed tightly together for warmth, the deserted pups are left in a wriggling, squeaking crash.